Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Toys Upon a Treasure and today I just wanted to show you um, something I do with the Golden Pothos plants. Um, I actually have quite a bit of them planted um, and I've, they've gotten really, really long and, you know, trailing. Now some people do like them long, other people like the more fuller look or just because mine are kind of getting all tangled up and stuff. Um, I'll show you something that I do with bobby pins that you would put in your hair. Um, and it's really easy and it'll actually make it look, you know, give it like a fuller look. So I'll kind of show you what, I, what I'm talking about here. So, um, and I'll show you like a couple examples. So here's one, for example, planted in a little three inch container. And you see like this piece, I mean, this one isn't like super, super long, but I can still show you the example on this piece. So let's say you wanted to give it more of a you know a fuller look you can just um take this piece here and kind of just you know twist it in a way in the soil kind of how it you know you kind of have to play around with it kind of see how it how it feels and looks to you and then you would just get these I find these are probably better because they're not so, you know, tight and so they don't, you know, so they don't damage them. But I've used the other type of bobby pins too and they've been fine. But you would just get, you know, the bobby pin and just basically bobby pin one of the little, the uh, you know, the long piece stem down that you, that you got, that you put into the soil. So instead of having, you know, that piece hanging to the side, it'll kind of give it a fuller look and eventually, um, you know, the little nodes, they'll start attaching to, you know, into the soil and the roots there, and then it'll just give it like a nice fuller look. I'm just doing it because they just been getting tangled up um, with one another. So this is one example here. Here's another example, like see, I have this one planted in a cup, which does have holes at the bottom that I um, ended up putting with a, so a hot solder gun or a little tool that I have. But see, this is like annoying to me because it's just hanging there and then it gets tangled up whenever I water them or if I move them around, it will knock other ones off if this happens to be tangled. Um, so this, you see those little nodes there. I'll basically just, um, you know, kind of position it into the soil here. And then I'll just get one of the bobby pins. And I will just bobby pin it down. So see, it looks, you know, it, it looks fuller, it's not trailing down. And it, like I said, eventually the roots will, or the, uh, the of the node, you know, will attach to the soil there and it'll just give it a, a fuller look when the new um, growth comes out. And I will do, let's see, I can do one more example. So here's another one. So it's just hanging here. Beautiful golden pothos. I love. I just absolutely love this plant. Just the the colors. I mean, it's just beautiful. So this one, I just all I'm doing is I'm just taking this, kind of just turning it there, kind of like in a circle, you know, not stressing it out, but just kind of wherever it naturally kind of lands, and just stick a little bobby pin in. So see, it just looks looks nicer that way. And it'll start growing fuller. So just wanted to show you that little example in case, you know, for those of you that have not heard of that, um, I do that a lot with my pothos plants. I do sell, um, I have a lot of beautiful plants, actually the ones that I'm showing you now listed. I have an Etsy store. 
and I sell them on eBay. Um, and for pothos, I do ship them in the same, you know, container they're in, so I don't ship dry root, just eat, so they don't get stressed out, and so they get there pretty much intact, you know. So um, I do ship all my pothos plants um, in the same container with soil. I plant some of them in, you know, depending on the size. These, I think there's either four-inch containers. Some of them are planted in three inch containers. And then I do recycle a lot. So that little cup that you saw that I planted, I just, you know, take the little plastic cups and I throw holes on the bottom. Cause you want, you know, you want to make sure that, that there are, that the water can drain when you water them. So they don't um, get root rot and stuff. Um, but if you want to check out my store, um, it's twice upon a treasure and again i saw on etsy and ebay if you have any questions or anything you know feel free to leave me a comment um down below down below sorry and thank you again um for watching i appreciate it and you guys have a fantastic afternoon bye